England will be missed. Yes, and that is not any premonition that we support. It's just the name of a song, and that's it, from the C64s. That's interesting. Thank you very much for talking to us. No worries, Danny. Have a great week and a great weekend, and we might speak to you next Monday. You too, man. Take a great day. Bye. Bye, There you go, Tristan from nichart.com. Go there right now and download as many songs as you want for free, including this one, the current number one, from the C64s. This is England Will Be Missed. Hazard. Colin, good evening to you. Good evening, Benny, and good evening, listeners to Feel AFM. Thank you very much. Well, Colin, you are uh, the guitarist and songwriter on, for, uh, for the C64s. I am indeed. Tell us a bit about the band and give us some background information on you guys. Uh, well, I started about two years ago. I met our singer Alexis at the, just a New Year's Eve party through the friend of a friend. Okay. He, he mentioned he was a singer looking for a guitarist, and I was a guitarist looking for a singer. And then just we had a few drinks and chat about music and had a few more drinks, and then over the next few months we did a few acoustic shows with the two of us and then started sort of acquiring other ba band members. We got our lead guitarist in first and then the bass player came and then finally the drummer came in. We're going about maybe a year now. So there's four of you in the band? There's five now. Five of you. And uh, where, where would you like to get to? What's your aim? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, so I'm, put, I'm putting you on the spot now, Colin, you see. I don't think about the top of the NI charts so quickly, but here okay. we are. Is this your first entry into the chart? It is, yeah. And give us a... Sorry, go ahead. We're working on the new track at the minute called Shadows. It's going to be up for the next two weeks. Tell us a bit about the, the one that's the number one at the minute, England Will Be Missed, because if, when you read that initially, it does, it's, you know, it's, it's almost like a premonition. <laughs> Actually, because we only put it on, on, the, on the website in the past few weeks, people have been asking me, is it a World Cup song? And it's, it's really not a World Cup song at all. What's it about? I wrote it last year. Um, I actually, I'd actually broken a, a bone in my hand, and it was just sitting around the acoustic guitar, couldn't really play guitar, I was kind of into sort of basic chords. 
I think it was a lot of clash and jam with people like that. And it, it, honestly, the song's actually about the possible onslaught of nuclear war and about British and American foreign policy. It's kind of a happy-go-lucky song. It is. It does. It's, it fits in with the, the lovely film review we did earlier because uh, our film review guy has got. Uh, slight, I wouldn't say fetish, but he, he likes his horror films, so if he's got blood and guts in it, then he's interested, so... Uh, but it's, it's a good song, it got to number one, so well done for that. You know, it's, there's a lot to be said for that, especially so quickly. But um, if you could if you could work with any artist, alive or dead, uh, on your next uh, song or your next EP or album, who would that be? Personally, I'd have to go for John Lennon. Good choice. With or without Yoko? Oh, without her. Poor Yoko, you know, nobody's got any love or time for Yoko, apart from herself. <laughs> you know, it's got a hard time, but I mean, she broke up the best man in the world ever, so... Uh, you sound like my dad now. But, uh... Is that a good thing? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. He could be listening, so I'll have to say that. <laughs> um, but uh, and this next question, I, I asked this to every band that come on, Colin, and I know you'll be as honest as they are, uh, and, and regardless of the fact that you're on the radio, you'll be honest anyway and tell me the truth. Uh, I want you to tell me what your, your guilty pleasure in terms of music is. So uh, maybe it's an album, a song, a download, a single, or an EP that you have in your collection that's a little bit embarrassing. Maybe you wouldn't play it or listen to it in front of other people, but you like to have a listen whenever you're on your own. I have to be honest about this. Yes, you have to be very honest. Now, I will know. I can always tell with this, Colin. You know, I actually grew up in high school. My dad likes country and western music. My mum's a big fan of Cliff Richard. So I've kind of got a soft spot for Cliff Richard. Really, Colin? But, but no, he did a song in the 80s called Wired for Side. I don't know if you know it. Uh, I, I do. It's, it's got a special place in my heart. It's one of the best tunes of the 80s, honestly. Really? Check it out. And the video was even better. He's on roller skates. Is that one? He's in roller skates, but and he's wearing kind of hot pants and a really tight t-shirt. But he doesn't look that young. It's not like he was, you know, back in his heyday when he was singing in the back of that bus. He he, he looks about forty. Well, that's not the tune, not there. You know what, Colin? I think you may have got the, the crown. You have got the piece de resistance off um, guilty pleasures that I've ever asked that question. I've had I've had Aqua. I've had what was that one last week? We had uh, the Australian band Savage Garden. That gave me a giggle. But uh, you've topped them all with Cliff Richard. I still win. Uh, you win. Uh, <laughs> you win a date with our lovely Caroline. Caroline, what do you reckon? Yep. There we go. She, she's up for Colin. I'll send you her details later on. Yeah, uh, well, I'm exactly there. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, he's such a gent. Colin, give us uh, some more information on where, where people can find out about the band. Maybe listen to some more tracks. Have we got a website or a MySpace? If you were on MySpace, it's myspace.com forward slash c 64 And we also got a gig this Wednesday in Van Nelson. And free in the drink motions and it starts about 9 o'clock. Three in drinks motions this Wednesday, and where is it again? It's in Mount Nelson, the Lisbon Road. Okay. Well, listen, Colin, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us, especially with a name like Hazard. <gasps> I've heard all the jokes, Tony. I know, I'm sure you have. <laughs> I have but a it's, an, it's called an, called an awesome name. What's sorry? Sorry, I had to pipe in. I actually have a cousin called Colin Hazard. Do you? Yeah, it's my family name. Colin, where are you from? From Bridge originally. No, well, no. I mean, I think I know if my cousin was in a, a cool yeah. band. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Colin. Yes, <laughs> obviously, Caroline. Caroline has got. You've got a thing for people in bands, haven't you? Oh, for God's sake! Sorry, I'm not supposed to say. Don't we all? <laughs> Colin, thank you very much for coming on and talking to us. Congratulations once again at being number one, and maybe we'll speak to you again next week if you manage to hold on to it for two weeks in a row. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All the best, Colin. Take care. Bye. There you go, Colin Hazard uh, from the C64s, currently number one on nichart.com with their song "England Will Be Missed," which is about nuclear war. Uh, I think he said so. Um, all fun stuff, but it's a good tune anyway. I would go and listen to that, and we'll uh, get an update next week um, from Caroline on the date between Caroline and Colin. See how that goes. Uh, Caroline's pen, um, and I'm sure it'll be fun. Loads, Mickey D's. Loads, Mickey D's. Don't knock Mickey D's. Spuds. I love, Spuds I love and Jasper's